big story today. Take a look at these explosions in the Baltic Sea and now leaks that are turning up from two Russian national gas pipelines to Europe. Now, these lines, the Nord Stream lines one and two, are not in use at the moment, not pumping fuel through them. But Poland is calling this a clear case of sabotage in their opinion. And Denmark also is saying that based on their knowledge of what is going on, they also say that this was deliberate. The White House says it won't speculate, but will support the Europeans as they investigate. This just drives home the importance of our efforts to work together to get alternative gas uh, supplies to Europe and to support efforts to reduce gas uh, consumption and accelerate true energy independence by moving to clean energy uh, economy. Charles Payne here, host of Making Money on Fox Business. Uh, Charles, great to see you. Thank yeah. you for being here. So uh, she sort of sidestepped the whole issue of whether or not Putin is the one behind this potential sabotage, which right. I know uh, was a concern in a lot of the markets today. Is this a sign that he's escalating all of this? Uh, and she went straight to green energy uh, out of that question. But let's go to the heart of the issue here. What are you hearing about what's behind these explosions? Well, like you said, uh, Denmark, the energy uh, uh, minister there said it's not an accident. Uh, there was a blast. The Danish prime minister said it was probably a deliberate act. The uh, same words echoed by in Nor in Norway. Uh, so, you know, all of these countries are more or less saying, listen, this was certainly sabotage. This was man-made. This was a de deliberate act. Uh, then you have to ask yourself why. You make the point. Nord Stream 1, Nord Stream 2, 2 never came online. Um, you know, of course, that was, you know, talking about doing business, we were begging them and doing the Trump administration, you know, set up these liquefied natural gas facilities. We've got cheap natural gas here, the cheapest in the world. We liquefy it, we put it on a ship, we send it to you. You never have to worry about being victimized by Vladimir Putin ever again. Absolutely. They didn't do that. Uh, so Nord Stream 2 had already been weaponized because it wasn't in operation. So Vladimir Putin was already weaponizing natural gas anyway. You see how much gas has gone up over there in Europe, and you just look, particularly in a place like Germany, uh, they're going to have to subsidize this. From what I read, Europe is going to have to spend close to half a trillion dollars to subsidize energy this winter. Mm. You know, so you talk and about I a think the LNG price was up 25% today. Yeah, yeah, well, the, the, the LNG, natural gas is what really has gone up the most, and coal. Because coal is in abundance. Ironically, uh, in Germany, they say, well, we might extend the nuclear power plants a little longer. Right. Yeah, no, 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 no. It, it, here's the thing, though. It's, it's, when, when you hear the press secretary talk about this being a reason, uh, you know, to expedite green, the green utopia, for lack of a better term, this is why Europe is in this position in the first place. There's a smart way to do this. The smart way to do this is not to make power, electricity, heating your home, prohibitively expensive for something that's not even plausible for at least 20 years. So if everyone on both sides of the Atlantic had a policy where let's use the fossil fuels that we have, let's use the technology that we have, so we can have a smooth, smart transition. transition. <laughs> it, this is nuts.